yo what is up my people welcome back to another video so today um as you guys can see by the title uh, i'm gonna be letting um spinning wheel decide where am i gonna travel next so basically um the countries that i was planning to travel like before the end of the year were italy holland and germany um so basically yeah, i came up with this idea i don't know like i don't know where literally just came up i was like cool i want to travel i posted um um i did like a story on my instagram and i was like okay i'm planning to travel to these three countries before the end of the year should i do it and majority of the people said yes so i was like okay cool so i'm gonna do it um yeah um this basically this idea as i said just came out of nowhere so i went on the app store i deleted the the um, the spinning wheel uh spinning wheel app or something like that like it kind of looks like this i'm gonna put the screen recorded the screen record of how um this helped me like you know choose um the right country to go or like where exactly should i go i'm gonna put it on the side so you guys can see at the same time where i press to to spin i already put you can um you know customize your own i can say because you can literally put the countries that you want to um the countries that you want to visit and the country that you whatever you whatever you want there are some other options for their own but you can also customize it yourself and put whatever whatever literally you want okay so basically um i think it's time yeah it's been it's been a while i didn't do it already so um let me put the screen recorder on here and then together we're going to decide for example where we're going to go okay so three two one spin see which country is gonna give me first which which exciting country is gonna give me first come on oh Germany yeah let's go let's go your boy is going to Germany okay so as you guys could see uh, your boy is going to Germany um, I'm planning to go on the on the 10th to the 12th if I'm not mistaken yeah because those are those are my days of uh monday tuesday monday wednesday and thursday no monday wednesday and tuesday yes oh my god i couldn't i don't even know the days of the week anymore but yeah monday uh no sunday monday and tuesday yes so your boy is gonna go to germany um you know just gonna visit the the city real quick and obviously like one of my plans is to visit the um Allianz arena so i'm definitely gonna do like a possible I don't know whatever I'm gonna do I'm gonna have to do I'm going by myself so I'm gonna have to explore everything basically so uh, it's, it's it should be entertaining I would say and also as I said I'm very 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 spontaneous so you know we'll see we'll see how we go so I hope you guys enjoy the video yo what is up my people welcome back to another video so as you guys could have seen on the mystery wheel that I did uh, in my intro I'm going to Germany so basically I'm literally uh, getting ready to leave right now which is clearly, clearly, clearly a bad time. It's hurting me. Why? The fight is literally starting right now. It's literally starting right now. And I was about to watch it. I was literally about to watch it. But then I have to leave the house. Because uh, otherwise I'm going to lose my flight. And I cannot lose my flight. So what I'm going to do is. My cousin is going to watch it. His one is recording behind the camera by the way. Uh, my cousin is going to watch it. And then uh, I'm going to like watch it through facetime because i literally have to leave right now um yeah i'm kind of doing like this intro a little bit late because i was watching the fights before so i just thought it would be a good time because i could use his help as well so yeah um as you yeah as i said in the beginning before your boy is going to germany for two days literally yo this was literally like just spontaneous why because um as you guys as i saw as i said in the intro as well i was I said in my Instagram, in on my Instagram post, that I wanted to visit these three countries, which was Italy, uh, Holland, and uh, Germany. I've been to Holland before, so it wasn't really like a big deal. Uh, um, but Germany and Italy haven't been before, so um, this was my top three countries that I wanted to visit before the end of the year. So yeah, it landed on Germany, so I'm going Germany, and then next week. Um, I'm probably gonna go somewhere. Hey, and by the way, you know, KS, I did a video with Rick Ross, yeah? Rick Ross is in the ring, my guy. He's literally in the ring back there. I just saw him. I'm not playing. Bruh. I'm not playing. But yeah, guys, uh, I need to um, I need to order my Uber right now because I need to I need to go to the train station and then from the train station I need to take 
the train to go to Gatwick and from Gatwick you know what I'm saying get ready for Germany so um yeah SX is also there little baby's probably uh little baby's definitely in the back as well so he I can literally say oh my god this is gonna be so exciting but yeah um I'll see you guys in a bit then take care okay guys so I might have like a little bit of explanation to do if you guys don't see anything like you know me traveling or for example to take my train is because I didn't so I said I was about to take my train but it didn't happen why because I literally lost my train as soon as I got there like literally on the platform the train literally like departed so I had to take an Uber to come. I was literally rushing because I thought I was gonna lose my flight, but after all, um, after all, I didn't, so I was kinda lucky, and uh, I'm literally boarding right now. Um, I got my suitcase and I got everything, so I got, I literally got lucky. When I came, I literally still sat for like 20 minutes, but yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit then. Okay guys, so I literally just arrived in the in the hotel that I booked like a week ago. Uh, it looks uh, pretty much the same as I saw in the picture. Um, I don't know. I literally just was literally just scrolling like randomly, and uh, I found this one. It was it was actually very cheap. It was like like it was like oh she don't gonna speak anymore. It was like um, fifty pounds. Yeah, fifty pounds for two nights. So basically, I'm gonna stay for two days. So from today Sunday. Uh, until uh, Thursday uh, until Tuesday morning so I'm gonna say like basically like two days two nights and it looks alright the only thing is it comes with like two like two separate beds yeah it basically comes with two separate beds because I thought it was gonna be like another one but they just gave me this one but I don't mind it's the same uh, they have a safe which is cool um, yeah there's a mirror over here uh then this is the toilet which looks okay let me see if i can find the light or some shit. yeah okay yeah this is the toilet which looks okay looks very clean as i like it as a hair dryer and all of that shit. so yeah uh it looks cool it looks cool i like it but yeah it's super cool so now i was guys i was literally like when i was on my way back to um when I was on my way back here, so I need to I, I needed to take like a bus for like half an hour, forty five minutes or something. I was literally like sleeping on the bus because last night, uh, I as you guys saw, for example, in the intro for today, I didn't sleep at all. I came from work and I literally was watching the watching the boxing like literally for the whole for the whole night until the KSI vs Logan finished, which. Big up my boy KSI, you know what I'm saying? Taking that dub for the England, you know what I'm saying? I was always confident that he was gonna win. I've always been on his side that he was gonna win since last year. And my my boy proved that Logan Paul was literally like no professional at all. Hit him in the, in the back of the head, which could have literally like re resulted in a disqualification, but he got lucky, but he got taken two points, which I think that kind of resulted in KSI winning as well. But we can't give credits to like oh the points that Logan lost because KSI also fought like very good. Um for those of you who basically wonder, oh you were not home, like how did you watch the fight? I called my cousin on FaceTime, put his phone in front of the th in front of the 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 laptop and I was watching it. Easy way. Like there's some so many stuff you can do. Basically, I had the sky the sky sky sports box office uh app but i couldn't watch it for example uh twice at the same time so it has to be only at home or on my phone and my cousin was watching so i don't I did, obviously i didn't want to be rude or anything so i just told him to like you know watch it there and then you know we could uh, like he could like show me on facetime but yeah um right now i'm probably like gonna go and eat something i don't know if i'm or maybe I'm gonna sleep for like a little bit, like one, two hours, just so I can rest a little bit. Cause I'm gonna go explore. I don't wanna stay at home. Obviously, I didn't come here to stay at home. So I'm just gonna go explore, show you guys, for example, what I 
show you guys for example the views show you guys the city center i want to go and see the city center and uh, i don't know maybe today or tomorrow i have to go to the alliance arena uh, that's one of my plans definitely i can't miss it i literally cannot miss it so i'm and i have to go to the alliance arena definitely a hundred percent so yeah guys um i will see you in a bit the next morning okay guys so it's the next day already uh yesterday i couldn't do much because that's that's why you guys can't see like anything so the last thing i did was um i think it was like i was just showing you guys for example uh how was my my hotel room and that so maybe yeah i, I went out at night but i didn't vlog anything because i was just walking around so what happened was uh, i was basically like tired from um from the from the from the airplane, air, oh my god, I can't speak anymore. On the airplane journey, and also like I didn't sleep for the whole night before. I was working the day before, like at least for at least like 10, 11 hours. That's why I was literally very tired. So basically, I almost like didn't sleep for the whole day. So when I came, like I was like, okay, cool, let me just take a nap for like one, two hours. But I forgot to put an alarm. So when I woke up, it was like six, seven o'clock, and I went to sleep at about like two or something like that. It, which was the time that I literally just arrived in my, in my hotel so um, that's why I couldn't do much because at that time it was really late to go all the way to Munich I think Munich is not close from here so I haven't found out how to go to the center of Munich yet which is what I'm gonna do today uh, I guess it's about like 12 o'clock 1 o'clock I don't know so I still have a lot of time um, my plan is not to go visit museums and all of that I don't like museums uh, unless it's like a football museum, which is the Bayern Munich uh, football museum. Yeah, I can do that because I'm a huge football fan. That one I can do, but if it's not that, then nah. But, um, so today my plan is to go to the center of Munich. I don't know, maybe go to a shopping center because I love visiting shopping centers. Um, also, I'm going to go to the center of Munich. Uh, you know, maybe the, the place where there's like a lot of tourists, take some... You know some footage maybe do like a cinema as i normally do in my vlogs and that uh and then also um definitely a hundred percent i'm gonna go visit um allianz arena which is bayern munich uh stadium so yeah uh right now i'm on my way i'm i'm gonna see if i can get like a quick breakfast or something or i don't know um just trying to eat something real quick or maybe i will definitely eat there so right now i need to check on the map and see how am i going to get to munich because obviously yeah i'm never been here i don't know uh and yeah see where it goes stay there until like i don't know about seven or eight i don't know and after or maybe before after that so as long as i find my way home after because tomorrow morning i'm traveling uh i'm traveling back to to the to the uk so yeah i will see you guys in a bit then Ah, okay, oh my god, it's so cold, that's why it's so cold. Okay, so I found uh, my way to somewhere called... Um, let me see if I, if I can spell it right. Marienplatz? Or something like that. I think that's how it's called, I'm not really sure. But it's saying that I need to take something called S2, S4, S8 or something like that. I think one of them too. Oh my god, it's so cold that my eyes are literally like, I don't know. <laughs> and then it says I need to, to uh, go to Munich Central Station. Then I need to go two stops. And then I'll basically be in the center. So yeah, let's go there, right? right so somehow I've managed to come to um, Ma Marian Platz or Marian Platz or something like that, as you guys can see in the background. It looks cool, it looks like a very like touristic place which was one of my goals to visit like this place is not like museums i don't like museums i don't know why i don't like museums bro that's what i'm saying the only museums i like is the football ones and that's it but yeah um it looks cool it looks very it looks very nice i i literally just got here so i'm just gonna like you know try to walk around um see if i can find new stuff i want to see if i could yeah as I, said, I think i said this before i want to see if i could go to like a shopping center or something to see like you know what are this stuff Maybe, you know, I can buy something, some presents for my niggas back home, you know what I'm saying? Uh, also to my best friend and that. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. But, yeah, in the meanwhile, I'm going to try to find out, for example, some other stuff to do. Uh, but other than that, I'm just going to give you guys, like, a quick cinema. Because, you know, I like to put this stuff in my vlog. I like to make my vlog, like, very, 
they're kind of like cinematic and shit so yeah enjoy Okay guys, I've worked, I've literally walked around everywhere like towards this place. There's like a place in the back that looks like a main avenue. I've literally walked around there as well. Um, right now I'm just walking like for example in the back which I haven't been yet. Cause I think like this is more like for food places. So I'm also also looking for food places because I want to see if I can eat something. Not drink beer, I didn't come to Germany to drink beer. Even though it's very traditional in here but I don't want to do it. So, um, I'm not a fan of beer anyway, so cool. Uh, yeah, so I'm just looking for places to eat. I saw like their McDonald's, literally like, I know it's ironic, but I saw their McDonald's and their McDonald's literally filled, like literally filled with like all the type of food, which our one is basically like really plain. They don't have like much stuff in there to sell. It's so plain, like, look, they have this cold, this thing called winter what winter zo winter zole or whatever this is how it is i don't i don't know i do you understand this winter something winter zo zole is winter zo i don't know trust me i don't know what it is but yeah uh yeah i'm just looking for oh my god wait come back come back come back yeah that's my boy yeah so i'm just looking for a place to eat. I don't know what to eat. That's the thing. <laughs> I want to eat something simple because right now, after that, my visit in the in the like in the city center, I want to go to Allianz Arena. I literally can't wait. Oh my god! I know how to go because I've checked the maps already. It's not far. It says like 38 minutes, and then I think I need to take the train for like 20 something, and after that, I need to. Um, I need to walk like 40 minutes which sounds so weird because I think after I take the train you need, it's like basically like a long walk until you get to the arena I'm very excited I want to see if I could do the tour as well so I can literally go inside go to the um, dressing room and all of that so I'm basically like very excited to go there but right now let's see what I'm gonna eat okay guys so I literally just arrived in a place called Frot Manning or something? I don't know, this is how it is. Frot, I think it's Frot Manning, I don't know. I'm not really I'm not really sure how you spell it. But right now, um, yeah, I literally came because obviously I want to go to Allianz Arena, which is over there on the back. Like if you can see this white thingy in the back, yeah. That place over there, yeah, that's the Allianz Arena. I wanna see if I can do like a tour visit over there. If it's allowed, it says it closes at six or seven. I'm not 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 really sure, but we're gonna find out. I think this is this is where. Yeah, I think this is the exit as well, so I can go that side. It says I need to walk about 14 minutes, if I'm not mistaken, and then when I get there, you know, what I'm saying, hey, hey, the Allianz Arena. Hey, I've been very excited for this. This is one of my main goals. Why I wanted to come visit Germany because I'm a huge football fan. I'm a huge Bayern Munich fan as well, so you know what I'm saying, we gotta go there. Okay, now for you to get here, you literally have to walk about 15 minutes or something like that. And yeah, I'm so excited because I literally just got here. Yo, this is crazy. You know, yo, if you if you like one of my friends or someone who's really close to me, you know how much I love football. And basically, like coming here right now is basically like half of a dream 50 percent of a dream because i'm not watching a match today i basically just came to visit but i would be happy if i could do um a tour for example go around the whole uh the whole arena and see for example the 
the how do you say the dressing room for the for the football players and maybe watch the inside which i'm very excited to see i've only seen it in pictures and basically like it's not the same so yeah i'm very excited to be here this place is actually amazing i think it's in christmas that this the whole stadium turns red if i'm not mistaken i think it's only during christmas i'm not not really sure but i've seen it before where like when it's all red it's actually looks very nice and it's like very far like for you to come here i would say like it's a bit like it's a bit far i'm not like i mean i understand that they chose so for example somewhere which is where it's like you know very uh like very large i would say like very very large so you can make the whole stadium however you want you can put some extra stuff like literally however you want to have it you can have it and it's and it's crazy man it's crazy i just want to go inside and see if i can do a tour if i'm allowed and if i can do a visit i'm definitely gonna do it so let's see how it goes okay so i got my tickets to the tour i'm already inside the arena i got my tickets to the tour so that means it's gonna happen uh i'm very excited because as i said before the only museum i would visit would be this one definitely this one I'm very excited to see it because there are some cups like the Super Cup or the literally the League Cup that I haven't seen yet. I'm super excited. I'm very excited to see it. So I'm, I've done this in Madrid before. I went to the museum as well and to the stadium, which I absolutely loved it, and it was it was absolutely crazy. So I'm also very excited to see this one. So uh, let's basically yeah let's start then so right now i'm go is i think it's at 5 30. yeah i booked a two yeah it's actually very close i need to go now i have like five minutes left i'm going to the tour to the store of the stadium which i think they're going to show me everything and also i'm going to be able to see the pitch downstairs which i'm very excited i'm literally very excited to see it i literally cannot wait but yeah so in the meanwhile i'll see you guys in a bit okay so i'm basically doing a tour right now i paid to have a tour and oh my god it is amazing basically right now you can't really see a lot of stuff but they are basically you know do some stuff on the on the pitch but yo it looks amazing be right there oh my god look at this it looks so big but it's so small Okay, so right now we are in the press conference room. Uh, it's obviously yeah, what I've seen before in so many TVs. It's actually very nice. And it's always a place where I wanted to visit. So yeah, super cool, man. Okay, guys, so I guess I was wrong. It's not only during Christmas that they turn the red lights on. It's already on like I think they do it like during the night as the lady the tour guide lady explained um, I think they do it like during the night and then uh, I, I think it goes like from night time like for before I think it's, they say she said like before the sunset and after no yeah before the sunset and before the sunrise yeah I think that's how, that's how it goes and they say that like they they are basically covered with LED lights everywhere. That's why it turns it like it turns from white to red. The white is the normal color without the without the LED lights. But they say that like they if you have enough money, you can turn this into whatever. Oh my god, whatever. Oh my god, with into whatever you want. Like basically, if you want to turn this into um hamburger color, you can do it. If you want to turn this into uh the german flag color you can do it whatever you could whatever you want you can do it as as long as the color matches with everything so yeah um i basically really enjoyed it and um, i basically just ran in my instagram right now which you can follow me at fabricio spencer uh, i literally just ran into my instagram how upset i am for not like i did everything like i literally saw everything i took pictures of everything everything was cool until i literally like went to the dressing room i didn't take a picture or a video so basically my eyes were the oh, oh my god i'm so upset yo i literally just said everything on my snapchat i'm so upset i swear i'm so upset because 
I wanted to get like at least like a memory also on the vlog I wanted to get a memory and it's too late there is no more visits today otherwise I definitely would have done it again I wouldn't mind and tomorrow I'm leaving like very early so I literally cannot do it either that's why I'm literally so upset because at least I could have I know it's not a big thing like maybe it's not a big thing for other people but for me it is because I'm a big football fan so like it literally upset me like I'm so upset it doesn't look like I'm upset but I'm so upset my defense mechanism is literally like this like you know trying to make fun of it trying to like you know go, but inside of me I'm furious I swear but what can I do I just have to like go home I need to go and take my train and go home uh, you know have some rest have something to eat because tomorrow we have a flight very early back home which was pretty nice uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do the outro here I don't know maybe I might do it or I might leave it until now nah, I'm gonna do the outro when I literally arrive at my own house in my own room um, but yeah so get ready for the next one and guys I'll see you guys in a bit take it easy